Afternoon guys, it's Simon at Pulse Cinemas. I just want to thank you for taking the time to come on this tutorial today. What I'm going to do is take you through the Screen Research Configurator. It's an awesome tool for you to use and it's very simple to use. I just want to take you step by step through it and see how you could get the best out of specifying those products uh, with Screen Research. So this is your home page. This is where all of your information will be stored in terms of the projects that you create. You're able to edit your profile and the users on the actual database. Um, but for the purpose of the demo, it's essentially a new project. So we select new project and we will put in the name. So let's call it Simon Test. Create project. Okay, so the first page it's going to take you to is choosing the class type of screen. Now this is maybe a conversation you've had with the client. I want a fixed frame screen. I want a drop down screen. You've got all of the different platforms available for you to choose. Um, so you can easily select what type of uh, platform you need. So for the purpose of this, let's do a flat screen, flat fixed frame screen. So the next page that it's going to take you to will be the screen model. Now, a lot of you guys are familiar with the screen research range, but for anyone here today listening that hasn't got a full kind of understanding of one, the product offering, two, the type of fabrics that are available, give me a call. My mobile number is on the website. Alternatively, email address simon.s at pulsecinemas.com. I'd be more than happy to give you some training one-on-one -on, -one on the brand, uh, just so it's a lot clearer for you when you're going through the process of specifying a screen. But let's go for a fixed Supreme FS3. This is a very popular screen in the field, so let's select it. Okay, so as you can see, Screen Research offer all of the ratios that are available. Within the masking screens as well, you're able to do presets and custom ratios, and maybe it's a Stranger Things, which is something like 205 ratio or whatever. But essentially, you'll be able to get any ratio that is available out there um, through Screen Research. So let's do a 16 by 9. It's a very standard ratio that we see out there. Um, so I'll select that. Okay, so this page is all about the fabric types. So like I mentioned before, if you do need some training on this, I'm more than happy to give it to you. But this page is a visual way of knowing exactly what you're looking at. So essentially, like for example, 4WB, ClearPix 4, we can see it's including black backing, it's got a gain of one, it's THX certified, ISF certified, obviously not great at ambient light rejection, but that's when you've got things like the 3D silver picks. It depends on the type of project, but take that information, look at this page, and it will give you an idea of the type of fabric you need to specify. You've also got a data sheet here that you can download, so if you do need to provide that to the client, you've got it there readily available. Alternatively, you may be entering an award and you need those kind of things. Data sheet of that fabric is available to you there. So let's go for the 4WB because it is an incredibly cool material. Okay, so this is the dimension range. The dimension range is the standard sizes that are available through screen research, and this is image width as well. Bear that in mind, it's not diagonal. So for example, if you choose 120 inches, that is 304.8 mil, the screen will be produced at that size within the next page. However, you can see here at the top, you've got different things you can do with it now. But as a, as a reference point, you can see there that the total width of the screen is 3248. You can see the image width, the 3048, the diagonal, the height, just gives you kind of core information that you need to be able to specify that screen correctly for the site that you're going to be putting it on. But let's have a play around. Say, for example, you've got a recess that you've got to fit this screen into and you have to get it a bang on and, and you can't do it in terms of uh, a standard range that you have available. You can play around with that. So you can see here, do you want to insert, insert an intermediate size? Of course we do. So I'll select yes. My unit of measurements, I'm going to keep in millimetres. So choose the size dimension. Sorry, choose the dimension size. Let's go for the image width. So this is only going to allow us to change the image width. You can see in number four now, it's given us where we are and where we can be in terms of a minimum and maximum. So let's make it that I want the screen to be, for example, 2.8 metres wide, exactly. So now I just simply click Confirm or the Update Drawing Values button and the system will now give us a dimensional drawing that is set to the 2.8 meters wide. Once you're happy with that, select next and move on. Okay, so this is the optional brackets. Obviously standard brackets are included to get it onto the wall. Uh, you've got different types of brackets that you can select. 
Uh, and again, through the training, I'll be able to take you through each of these bracket options and what they are and what they would need to be used for. Um, so for the purpose of this, we just need to skip this page because it's coming as a standard bracket setup. So as you can see, what it's done is taken all of that information from your screen and it's generated a document that will give you all of, obviously, what you've put in, but what the retail price is. Uh, and you can also do things with it down the bottom here. So for example, a PDF with retail pricing. So if we select that, it will download an actual PDF version of this. It will give you all the dimension information as well. So it just allows you to have that as a printout that you can maybe take to a site meeting or fire off to the office to order, for example. Everything like that is readily available through the configurator. And there you have it, a finished configuration document. Uh, you've got the pricing information in retail, you've got the dimensions, the depth, all the tolerances, the, the real information that you need as an integrator to be able to make sure that's the right screen for the project um, in a really easy to read, easy to digest document. So I really hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, again, I will mention it, if you do need any one-on-one -on -one training, please feel free to give me a, uh, a call, drop me an email, reach out to me on Twitter, however you need. I'm here to help and I want to get the best out of um, you as integrators and make sure that you're happy with all of the product offering that Pulse Cinemas has. Um, but other than that, have a terrific Tuesday. I'll say that because I film this on a Tuesday. So have a great day. Bye.